Salam, welcome to this video. Today we'll look at adding JavaScript, HTML, and CSS to a SharePoint modern page. Similar, <coughs> excuse me, similar to what we can do on a SharePoint classic page, either using the script editor web part or using the content editor web part and linking uh, a source file to it. The solution we'll use is a SPFX solution called the React Cherry Pick content available on GitHub. So first thing we need to do is, be in, my, uh, uh, be in mind I've already got this uh, solution to work on my environment, so in this video I'll still go through the steps, but um, many of the steps I've, I've already completed. So the first thing that we need to do is, we'll go to the site over here, there's a direct link to the solution, we can download the zip file and extract it on a, on a PC. Um, we can then open up the solution in Visual Studio. And uh, according to this page, the first thing that we need to do on the command line, um, once, once we've once you've gone to the directory, is to run this command npm install, right? Once that is done, we can do a gulp serve to test whether the solution works. So let me go to my Visual Studio over here and go to the command line over here. I'll quickly do. Oh yeah, before you do the gulp serve, there's one thing that you need to change um, in the solution. And the gulp serve merely allows you to test the solution without actually adding or deploying the app to your actual environment. Okay, so on the serve.json file, we have to update this initial page with your, this part over here, you have to update it with your actual site. Okay. The other thing is, yeah, before you do the, before you run the command npm install, you have to make sure that the node version that you're running corresponds with the node version, node.js version that is recommended over here on the site. Let's quickly scroll down. Where do I get the node version? You know, I've got a I've got a link in this file over here. I don't think you can see it very clearly, but the node version is either version twelve or version fourteen. Yeah, version fourteen or version twelve. So on my environment, I have node version manager installed right that allows me to switch between different node versions depending on what solutions i'm deploying and testing um i think i've made a note of that over here yeah install visual studio okay install node version manager and also i've i've noticed Previously, I had Node.js installed, but I had to uninstall it because it was causing conflict with Node version manager. Um, yeah, and I took about three, three hours to figure that one out. So we download the solution, make sure we're in the proper Node version manager, and then, oh, sorry, Node version in Node version manager. And then once we've run npm install, and before we do a gulp serve, we have to uh, update this URL over here with our SharePoint site. After that, we can do a gulp serve. So if I go to the command line over here and I do, so you can see I'm in my directory over here. Uh, called script web part, which is what I renamed my solution to. So I do help serve.
Okay, so now it's uh, opened up in the browser. And we try to add, add a web part. It appears over here. Um, already I've configured uh, two libraries which will be used to host um, my source files. If I edit here. I can choose which library the file is sitting in. I think I've set up, um, I've uploaded a file to the snippet library too. Check. Yeah, so I've added the file called script.txt over here. So now I'll be able to see that file here over here. And yeah, basically script in there which uh, creates an alert. Okay, now add script. So it works. Okay, uh, the one thing I forgot to mention is that the approved libraries.ts file needs to up be updated with the actual libraries that we're going to use. So I've added my libraries over here. Right, I removed the default ones and I've added my libraries over here. There's two libraries that I'm using, snippet library and snippet library 2. Okay. Yeah, so before you test, don't forget to update your approved libraries.ts file. Now that we know the solution is working, we can do a, a gulp bundle ship. Uh, and a gulp, gulp package solution and then we can upload the solution <clears throat> to our app catalog right and usually the url to your app catalog is your site your tenant name followed by dash admin dot sharepoint dot com so so after you run those two commands in your command line and you then navig navigate to your solution you click on the SharePoint folder, click on solution. There will now be a file called react.sppkg. And this file we can upload to SharePoint. So if I now navigate to my app catalog page, you'll notice that I've already uploaded the solution over here and deployed it. Okay, this is pretty much straightforward. So if I now navigate to any of my site pages, try to add the, <clears throat> the solution as a web part, it should appear. There it is. Then I'll configure the web part to load the correct file. Submit library two. And I get this options here for well, this uh, option here. Either keep it content isolated or not. Isolated merely loads the snippet in an iframe. So I'll leave it as uh, isolated. Oh, I forgot to choose the file. It's working again. Republish. And it works. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments. I'll try and publish most of the steps in the description of this video. Until next time, salam.